flood of refugees, most going to Poland. Has the mayor of Warsaw asking for help with a worldwide relocation program? Close to 2.7 million refugees have now left their war-torn country. Some even going as far away as Finland, a nation not part of NATO, although as CTV Shemvia Boschman reports from Helsinki tonight, there's been a seismic shift in attitude. Neutral for decades, talk here in Finland of joining NATO has angered neighbor Russia. Moscow warned this weekend of political and military consequences if the Finns sign on to the military pact. But Finland's president says Vladimir Putin has dropped his mask and shown the cold face of war. I hope that during this uh, meeting and discussion we can strengthen. And fear of invasion here has powered a dramatic surge in favor of NATO membership. We collected 50,000 signatures, say these two Finns, and so our government will have to debate the issue. That and large protests against Putin in Helsinki, a seismic shift in a country that shares a 1,340-kilometer border with Russia and for decades has shared business and cultural ties. Elena Gusatinsky was born in Moscow to a Finnish mother. I hope this world understand. She runs a foundation in Finland helping Russian speakers here, and there are many. Now, though, she has opened her home to friends, Ukrainian refugees. Polina is 13 years old, away from schoolmates, from the life she knew. I'm grateful that I am here, but I really hope that I'll, I'll go back to my home. And her mom, Hannah, says she will kiss the ground when she returns to Ukraine. No matter where you are. Uh, Ukraine isn't here, it's, it's your identity. But she's also comforted now by the support of many here in her temporary home. But would you have thought that there would be that kind of outward support in Finland? No, uh, the fact, the very fact that Ukrainian flag is put on the central railway station in Helsinki, it's, uh, it's just an amazing, unbelievable thing. It, it really gives you hope. Finland's government says it will take a very careful look at NATO, that any move now would have to be very well calculated. Sandy. Thank you for this.